We are learning so much about the Williamson community, and a big part of that is the Anderson County Career and Technology Center, and I have Holly and Travis here to tell us a little bit more about that and how you guys are preparing students for their next steps. Good to see you guys. Yes, thank you for having us. Yeah, We're so, glad to be here. Yeah, let's talk about the center. What do you guys do? And uh, people may maybe confuse it with the vocational center, but what is the difference in what you guys do versus some of the other ones that people may have heard of? Sure, we're a multi-district career and technology center, so we service Anderson District 1 mm -hmm. and Anderson District 2, so we serve the high school, so Wren High School, Powdersville, and of course Palmetto, that's mm -hmm. here, and then District 2 is Belton Honeypath, and we service 9th through 12th graders in all kinds of different technical career pathways. And we, we you know how important the trades are to a community. What are some of the different things that you guys are preparing these students to, to, to do? So in, in addition to just the trades, which are so important in a typical vocation mm -hmm. center, with our career center, we also we focus on the careers of the future. So computer science, mechatronics, aerospace engineering. So we try to diversify as much as we can in our center. And these are all big paying jobs too and such valuable parts of a, of a community, especially with the big uh, you know mechanical and technology part that we have here in the upstate. It's such a big part of that. Um, what are some of the, the goals that you guys have as a program? Like what are some of the things you're preparing these students for? Well, our ultimate goal is to get them to graduate high school. Yes, but of course. But if we can figure out what they want to do after high school, that's a plus, or what they don't want to do after high school. Mm -hmm. We have 21 different programs from anywhere, as Travis said, from mechatronics to auto tech to weld and to uh, media broadcasting. We have the only high school run radio station actually here in small Williamston who's won lots of awards. Um, and I think we have a special visitor. We do. Yes. Who, who is this guy? So this is our platypus. <laughs> this is our mascot for our radio station. So he's here to, to kind of help support us as well mm -hmm. and, and our students. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Platypus, for jo joining us to kind of get everyone hyped up. And they can go to MyPulseRadio.com if they want to check out some of the things that you guys are producing over there. Yes, yes it's 24 hours, seven days yep. a week. Yeah. I imagine you guys are very proud of the students that come out of that. And I'm sure you get a lot of success stories of folks that go through the program maybe didn't know what they want to do, found out that they, some things they didn't want to do, and then graduated and mm -hmm. went into a career. I'm sure you guys get a lot of those success stories. And that's the best part of it, is <laughs> seeing those kids that just really came to our center and didn't know what they wanted to do with their life, and now they're able to experience different things, and then they go on and they succeed, and they grow, and they're part of the community, and they're able to give back as well. So that's the really cool part. That's awesome. Can people go online and, and find out more about the program if they're in one of those, those counties and they're like, hey, I mm -hmm. want to make sure that my child is getting in, into that program? Yeah, so we have a website. We're very active on social media as well so you can go to our Facebook post Instagram all of the social media I think we even have TikTok now <laughs> there, oh you got, you're on the TikTok craze everything's there so yes <laughs> Holly, Travis, Mr. Platypus, thank you guys so much for all that you do for our students here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank guys. You.